Hey there, my name is Dawn Walters, uh, and that's my dog Slade that is um, up on the tent that I'm getting ready to talk about. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you have the three-person dome tent by Ozark set up. Here we go. This is the tent. It's the three-person dome tent, and 29 bucks. And they're a cute little tent. It's a three dome tent. Now, whether three people can really fit in it or not, okay. But um, I wanna show you what it looks like once it's set up. I'm also gonna show you how to set it up, or I'm just gonna do it real quick of kind of going through because although you have the owner's manual inside, which is fabulous so that you don't lose it, it's in there. Um, yeah, there are quite a few instructions and all of that other stuff on there. So, you know what? You might as well watch me um, show you how to set it up. All right, so let's get going. These are great, um, even for, you know, I don't know what the rain situation is on that um, because I have not actually been in, it in the rain. But these are great for, let's say like, you know, if I truck camp, I want to be able to keep a tent that's small enough uh, for me and for Slade in case that I decide that I want a tent camp. Or, you know, there's some some um, places where that you can't truck camp um, and you have to have a tent. So you can always set your tent up and maybe have your truck kind of close and do it. Or even, um, you know, you could have this. This is small enough and it's a great size to where it could fit inside of my screen room. So if I wanted to actually have the tent set up inside of the screen room, um, I could do that. So, like I said, it's really cute. And here it is. The Three Dome Tent by Ozark. And they're at Walmart and they're 29 bucks. Yeah. Okay, so what I did is I just stretched out the tent, just laid it out flat, and I took the little pegs and just put them in all the way around. Just remember, put them in at the angle like this. There's the hole there, there's the tent, put it in like that, okay? And then next, you take your little poles out and you just do this all the way and it's starting to rain so that rain lasted all of two minutes um yeah that's why kentucky is now kind of like florida we just rains and it's of course not supposed to rain but y'all know how it is with me and rain okay so you get two of these and then you're just gonna stick these up. They'll go up and over the top, but you gotta stick them through right here, through the little bottoms, okay? And this is just what it, what the bottoms look like. You just put the little stake in, do it at an angle. These little things just stick right in that little hole. So I'm gonna stick it in the little hole thing that's there. This, it did rain enough to get this kind of wet. It's just a little wet. And then you just stick it through the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this one up just so it'll kind of stay. Just hook these little things on them. Okay. So it's all clicked in on the one side. So you just stick the pole in the back little hole. Repeat, let it cross over, and stick these in, and then just hook them. Voila. Just where you can put a little plug going through. Now, on the rain fly, there's a little tag that says front, which makes this so much easier, because now you know what you're doing. have a little bitty hook just a little it's like a hair tie and all you're gonna do is 
hook that down here at the bottom over your little clip do jammer do it over here do you like it in there already Slade? and then you just take it and pull that there here's your velcro and you take your little the last little pole right here put it together and it just slides slides right through there and there is you can see that little hole right there this goes in this hole a little hole right there so we have our little thing right here in the very front this zipper of course it goes there but then you also have the little net the net zipper. I wouldn't normally do that, but I'm trying to keep it so that you can see it. So, that could be zipped there. Okay, so now once it's all the way here, if you want, you've got little straps here. You could roll this up. Can y'all tell how much he loves camping? <laughs> I can't set stuff up without him wanting to get in so now you can see how much room there is with both of us in here i know so this is it i'm at the very back of the tent this is how far my feet come out um time to lay down let's see if i lay put me sideways And here I am, laid out. Yep, and that's my buddy. Yeah, I know. You're wondering where the bed is, aren't you? Okay, so this is it from one end to the other. And I'm about five, five and a half. And I'm sure the main thing that you all want to know is what a, will a queen size mattress fit in here? And this is one from Ozark as well. And yes, it's going to. Looks like it's about ready to rain, so I'll probably be able to test out that um, the rain flyer. The little tiny pup is from is uh, Lex Hill Deer Tiny Pup. Pretty awesome. That way you don't need to have a power source because my other one needs one of the big, you know, needs a plug in. Come on, buddy. Let's come on back out. Thanks. Good fresh air out there. Yeah, you'll enjoy it right out there. It's definitely about to rain. So I'll let it set out in the rain and then I'll um, add that to the video. I do try to weatherproof uh, my tents by spraying them. Um, so of course this one will not be sprayed. But yeah, huge clouds. So it's gonna rain. Okay, so the mattress queen size definitely fits in. I'm doing it fast because it's already starting to rain again. Um, but the mattress is here. All right, buddy. Come on, Slade. Oh yeah, you got plenty of room. So this is us in here, um, and I'll let it rain. I'll just keep it up, and so then I'll let you know what happens when it rains. All right, buddy, you ready to go? And this is what it looks like inside. There's a little uh, net thing over there that you can put like a phone or watch or whatever. And then this little thing, it has like a little Velcro thing up here and it's plastic. And all it does is it just hooks. So it hooks up on the top if you wanted to put um, an iPad in there and you could watch TV. You could do whatever you could put uh, Things that you don't want to get wet maybe up off the floor or just whatever put that in in there and You've got Slade and he's Chasing a mosquito and here comes the rain. So we will leave this out. I'm gonna zip it up real quick Oh my goodness. Come on. Let's go. We gotta get out of here. All right. We'll zipping it up and we'll let you know how it goes 
So I hope you guys really like this video uh, because I am going above and beyond. I know some of y'all were in there wishing that it would rain. So as you can see, can you see? It's definitely raining. It's raining a little bit harder, so, um, but you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, this is sitting back far enough, so it is keeping the rain off of this front part of where this little hood thing is. Okie dokie. So, let me hold that down. It has rained. And we're going to check inside and feel around. And um, see how we did in here. Okay, so... And you can see some of the little raindrops up at the top. Corners. All right. Let me go over here where I can kind of move around the bed. Okay. Ooh. Sorry. I'm just trying to just scoot on the other side of the mat. Okay. Um... Like, it looks like it's pretty dry. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so Slade and I think that this is a pretty good deal. You're right, buddy. I, I have definitely... <laughs> I definitely have more room in here than I have in my truck. And with the bed pushed all the way to the back, this is how much room you still have up in the front. This is room enough for a person to be right here as well. Now, it's gonna be pushing awful tight where that the, um, where that the little zipper, the door goes. I mean, it would work. I'm gonna zip, zip myself up. Okay, so you can technically fit another body. My feet are pressed right up to the edge of the tent. So there's the bed all the way across there. And then I'm on the floor. I mean, that's my headroom. So I guess I could actually, yeah, scoot up and my feet are not touching now. So technically, yeah, three people, two people on the bed, one here, two people and a dog, one person and a dog here. That's where Slate needs to be. That's a wrap. Um, I think it's great, especially for, you know, for 29 bucks. Slate thinks it's great too. Plenty of room uh, with the amount of rain. There's no leaks. It did just fine. Um, it's cute and it just, uh, it's a great little size. So if you're somewhere and if it's really hot out and you need like extra shade place, hey, he loves it. So he gives it a thumb, thumbs up too. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned and we'll have more stuff like this. Have a great one.